All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, today is going to be a subscriber request. A couple people have reached out to me to ask me how to do a uh, contour cut, uh, print to cut uh, type deal on a Prism Cut P28. Uh, this will also follow true to the Prism Cut P20. Uh, so here's a recent shirt that I made for somebody. It was a cartoon cartoonized version of his car. Um, this had a little bit of background stuff. Um, I trimmed out the background uh, with some point editing um, to get rid of that stuff and just kind of left the car and a little bit underneath it and I added the Audi and S4 lettering. Uh, so I'll show you how I accomplish that on Vinyl Master and how I cut it out on the uh, prism cut. Uh, I won't show you the pressing part because that part's not important, but I'll show you how to set it up in the software and get it to cut out to get it to look like this so you can press it. Uh, so let's go ahead to the computer. We'll do some screen recording and I'll show you what I did. Okay, thank you for joining me back. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try out this uh, Xbox screen recording option on Windows 10. I have never used this before, so hopefully this works out good for what we're trying to do. This way I can show you the steps uh, that I followed to be able to do that shirt. So here is the original image that the customer gave me. Um, he wanted his B5S4 on a shirt, and uh, this is exactly what he gave me. Somebody must have cartoonized this for him, which is pretty cool. Um, the thing I don't like is the background. So uh, when you do a print to cut, um, you can't, I don't think you'll be able to contour this, but now that I think about it, it may actually grab the, uh, no, I don't think it'll grab the contour because it has a background. So you're going to have to have the image separated from a background. I don't like cutting squares and pressing squares on shirts. I'll show you what they look like. I've done that before. I was able to contour cut and I just don't like what it looks like. Uh, so what I did was I went in Inkscape. I used the Bezier tool, I think it's called, and basically just created uh, points all around the car. You're going to see I did not do this perfectly. There's a little bit of jagged edges here and there, but you saw what the, res um, the result came like on the shirt. Uh, I am no pro by any means at photo editing or creating designs. Uh, I'm extremely novice, so I'm pretty happy how this came out. But nonetheless, so I removed the background. I did like the gray drop shadow, so I kept that on there. That was cool. Um, so that was the image I was starting with. The next thing, the customer wanted some kind of text that said Audi S4. For people that didn't know what an Audi S4 was, that's, uh, you know, that's what he wanted. So here's the image. Um, I added just a plain text. I forget what text that was, but <clears throat> I added... The Audi S4 kind of worked around it, and this is what I liked as far as the design. All right, let's try this again. So the Xbox screen recording software did not work. It took the audio and did not move around the screens. Apparently, you can only record certain things with that. So now we're going to kick back to the GoPro. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the quality. It sucks doing it this way, but... Uh, this is the only way I'm going to be able to get you the video at this point, I guess. So, uh, I went ahead and redid the image. I already deleted it, thinking the video was done. I had to go ahead and redo it. Had the image back up here, added the lettering, um, got the, the coloring as close as I could. Again, for that purposes, it doesn't matter, because now I'm just showing the contour cut. Uh, you're going to see in the background here, I added the registration marks to the page. How I did that is I went up to the Apple, and I selected uh, Create... No. Contour Cut Wizard, and uh, you're going to see here, there's an option here for page uh, page marks. If you uncheck that, it kind of throws everything out of whack. Put the page marks on, make your life easy. It gives you a better uh, uh, judgment of the size of your image and how this is outside of the um, sheet. So, um, I couldn't figure out how to adjust this after the fact, after you traced it, because the trace separates from the image. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do this before I trace, and we're going to shrink this down and get this to fit within these registration marks, because that is important. All right, so that's pretty close to how we had it before. Good enough to give you an idea. You just want to make sure the whole image is selected, and you're going to go back up to the Apple, and you're going to do Create Contour Cut. All right, it's going to bring up a screen like this. You're going to see, and again, if you can pick this up on the GoPro, it automatically did the contour around the lettering, but it did not do around the image. So that's where this pop-up comes up. It says, Images Detected. Do you wish to include them in Auto Trace? You want to do Yes. 
Now it's going to come up with a picture of the car itself. Don't freak out. It didn't remove everything. As long as you have everything grouped, that's good to go. However, it's got to do the contour of the car. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to do trace. And it's going to create the vector and trace around that car. You're going to see a blue line around it. You're going to do apply. Now, um, which may be kind of hard to see, but it did apply the trace line around the car and it has the lettering. For the lettering, you want to make sure you always have key poles checked. If you don't, it is not going to do the D, the A, the 4, and then, um, you know, it's not going to look right when you cut it out. Um, and it's just going to keep that background. So we already did key poles. We're going to go ahead and do accept. And um, if you can tell here, which is going to be hard to do on the camera, um, it does have the contour cut line around the image. So now everything fits, everything's scaled properly, image is selected, and that's where you're going to go up to the apple again, and you're going to do contour cut wizard. All right, so once you're in the contour cut wizard, you're going to see everything fits there fine. This is where you want to do your actual print. So um, I forget what the default was, but I did mine a print direct, and then I selected my printer, which you can see is a Office Jet Pro 8600. The only thing I really changed is I and essentially I just went up to properties and selected the quality settings as best, and just did okay. Um, how much of a difference I made in the image quality, I don't know, but um, I felt like it was something that was a good idea to do. All right, so we'll just go OK to save the settings, and then uh, you will go ahead and do the print. All right, so now we're going to go to the printing process. We're going to go ahead and hit print. And you're going to see it changes this down here to cut now. So now what's going to happen is this printer up here, you're going to see the printout shoot out here in a minute. And I'm going to apologize for the mess ahead of time. Um, this is a multitasking office. I got a lot of shit going on here. Uh, so it is a mess. So you're going to see this comes out pretty quickly. Um, actually, it may take a little bit longer because I changed it the best. Um, but this should come out here in a few seconds. And then you're going to see essentially just the picture of the car and the lettering. And you will see the very faint uh, contour cuts or contour uh, lines around it to tell the cutter how to cut it and then you're going to see the registration marks okay so essentially this is what the image looks like again we knew this is what it was going to look like very faintly, you can see the uh, lines around. So now we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna feed it into the cutter. So uh, we'll go ahead back to screen recording and I'll show you how that works and then we'll go back to the camera. But we have our printed image. You're gonna go ahead and do cut and then that's gonna give you instructions for what to do on the cutter. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then here it's gonna tell you how to place your image on the sheet and how to feed it into the cutter. You're gonna see it's gonna tell you right here to align your uh, cut head with that furthermost uh, right bottom um, registration mark. And then it's gonna show you, um, you know, how to do it right there. And again, you're gonna have a camera. I really don't understand how the camera stuff works yet. I haven't used this that much, um, but, um, you can use that for calibrating. So let's go over to the um, device over here and I'm gonna show you how I set it up and how it cuts. All right, so uh, we got our cutting mat here. Um, you absolutely wanna use a cutting mat for this. Uh, the paper is probably gonna be, and again, this is just regular paper, um, but I know that the other stuff I used, and I'll show you guys that in a minute, is very thin. Uh, yes, it does have a backing paper, but it, it will be a nightmare to work with. So this is one of those occasions that I do say absolutely use the cutting mat. Uh, so again, you're going to see it's going to say do it arrow down. All right, so right there, do it, feed it arrow down. So flip it around here. And I like to just use one of these lines here to line up in the cut grid to make sure I'm safe. Not safe, make sure I'm straight. And let's move the cutter out a little bit. And you're going to use your up arrows to 
kind of get the um, registration mark kind of where you want it, and you're going to move your head. So you can see, uh, I moved my head about as close as I can get it. I got that pretty much on. We'll go ahead and do next. And it's doing a cut. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna find its registration marks. And you can see the camera and the light on there. It's actually zooming finding its registration marks you're going to see on the screen here it's capturing those registration marks and now it's going to start doing its cutting and this goes pretty quick again i still have this on a generic speed of 400 and 470. Um, that works pretty good for everything i've been using it for so we're going to keep it at that And now it's going to go around the contour cut of the car, obviously. And this is going to rip through pretty quickly. And I think it's just going to finish up the four. All right, that is a contour cut. So go ahead and move the head out. Again, I could have that return to origin, but again, I don't know all the functions of this yet. All right, so essentially this is what you're gonna be left with. Um, the the uh, actual heat transfer, printable heat transfer paper is gonna be a little bit different. But what you wanna do here is you're gonna see that this now cut completely around that. All right, and we have a pick here where you can pick out the centers of your letters. And voila, now you're left with that image there. Um, again, you know, you're gonna have backing paper uh, on the actual paper you're using. So um, it's gonna be a little bit different than this, but essentially on the backing paper, that shit is really thin. You got to just start a little bit like that and then watch how you peel. This is gonna stick to my uh, mat a little bit. But essentially you're gonna end up with something like this. You're gonna peel it and then it's gonna be thin and it's gonna fold up like that. I haven't figured out a way around that yet and the stuff I have is really cheap stuff I got at AC Moore or something like that, Michaels, I don't know. Um, so I haven't bought anything good online yet. But you're gonna see it individually did your letters this part sucked this is why i wanted to do a bubble or something around it and keep it as just a solid image because trying to place these letters again really blue because these things were uh, basically folding up like that on the shirt and i guess i probably could have put a piece of uh um, transfer paper or uh, the plastic from some caesar heat transfer vinyl on it to hold it down but i didn't again it was the first time i was doing it and things I learned from. So um, I will be modifying my process a little bit. Uh, but other than that, you can see that it is done on the screen. It gives you an option to recut or done. Go ahead and do done and boom, you got your um, contour cut. So I'm not sure what more I can say on this guys. Uh, it's, I found that pretty straightforward using that process. You guys might have better processes. I don't always know exactly what I'm doing. I don't always have time to look up videos, so I kind of just tinker with stuff and figure it out. If you guys have um, better suggestions for how to do this, or if you found better ways to do this or more accurate ways to do this, please comment down below, let me know. Um, if this was useful, again, please comment down below and let me know. Um, if there's anything specific you wanna see with this prism cut, um, let me know. I'll try my hardest to make those videos. Um, like I said, this one was a, uh, a subscriber request. Again, nonetheless, I hope this was useful. This was a quick video. Um, if you like this, please comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and post this up on the U.S. Cutter forums as well. Um, anything else you guys want to see with this, please let me know, and I would be obliged to make the video. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.